My name is John Osborne. I'm a senior editor at O'Reilly and responsible for the books that we publish on .NET and Windows. Um, I've been covering .NET since its unveiling in 2000 and most recently oversaw publishing of our latest offering of C Sharp 3.0 titles at the end of last year. So Joe Albahari, along with his brother, uh, former Microsoft developer Ben Albahari, is the co-author of three of the uh, C Sharp 3.0 titles that we published at the end of 2007. Um, those are The Nutshell, which many of you already are familiar with, the just published uh, Pocket Reference, which is just going out today, actually, a distillation of the C Sharp 3.0 language, and the soon-to-be-published Link Pocket Reference, which is a compact introduction to, uh, to Link syntax. Joe's uh, treatment of C Sharp in all three titles is a direct outgrowth of his years of experience as a core C Sharp design architect at Egton Medical Information Systems, which is the largest primary health care software supplier in the UK. C Sharp in a nutshell, the book which he wrote with his brother Ben, has received really rave reviews and readers have loved its focus on how the language is meant to be used through its scores of code snippets and use cases and especially for its approach to, to teaching link syntax, which is best summarized by the uh, syntax diagram that appears in all three of his books. But not content to just present link in the pages of a book, Joe also went off and created LinkPad, an incredibly useful utility for building and executing link statements written in either C-sharp or VB. LinkPad lets you interactively query local collections and SQL databases without any setup, and it's a great way to get familiar with the language feature. LinkPad has generated a ton of comments and praise, so we thought users would like to hear some advice on how to get the most out of it from its author. And that's what we're about today. So Joe, without further ado, I'm going to turn the podium over to you and let you take it away. Thanks, John. bring up LinkPad now. So as Sir John said, um, LinkPad is a tool for interactively querying databases in, in Link instead of SQL. But, but LinkPad is also, at the same time, it's something else. It's a code snippet IDE. Uh, and this is, a, this is the simplest way to introduce how it works. You'll be familiar with Visual Studio as being a project IDE. So, in other words, it's a development environment that's centered around solutions and projects. Now, LinkPad, on the other hand, is centered around code snippets. So, quite often you will have gone to Visual Studio just wanting to test a snippet of code, perhaps a regular expression, or you want to explore how a particular framework class works. So, you might instantiate an object, call method, set some properties. Now, to do all that in Visual Studio, you have to create a project within a solution, decide what type of project to create, give it a name, create a class, and then either write the results out to the console or trace window, or insert a breakpoint and then bring up the watch or locals window and explore the results. Now, LinkPad has got a much simpler workflow for code snippets. So as you can see up here, we've got a, um, a query of type C sharp expression, which is default. And we could put any valid C-sharp expression in here, so we can use this as a calculator. We just hit the, the Go button, or F5, and it comes up with the result, 4. Uh, we could put in a string in there if we wanted, hello world. Up comes hello world. That's another valid C-sharp expression, say a literal. We can turn that into a link query very easily, um, because a link queries are also C-sharp expressions. So we can put from C in, hello world, order by C, select char dot to upper C. And now that lists all of the characters and converting them to all to uppercase. Um, you notice string is, um, you, you might be familiar with link and que link query sequences, which a sequence is anything implementing the generic high enumerable sequence. Now, string implements I enumerable of char, so we can query all the characters in a string, just as though it was an array or any other sequence. Now, you notice in the results window, this is 
how it differs a little bit from Visual Studio's output window is that um, sequences automatically are expanded out, as in this case, which is kind of like it, it's a combination of the, the output window in Studio and the debug window rolled into one. It also automatically uh, expands uh, subsequences and nested objects. So for instance, I could go new file info, the link pad for exe. Um, now, a feature of, of um, link pad is that you can execute a selection just by highlighting it and then pressing F5 or pressing the go button. Um, and now that gives us the link pad object calls to string on it, which gives us a little summary here, but if we click the down arrow, we can explore all of its properties. Um, in Under directory, we can see there's a, uh, a nested object, directory info, so we can click on that and explore that. So this is, the, this is like the debug and the output window rolled into one. Now, so far we've executed just simple expressions. Sometimes you want to execute a series of statements. So to do that, we do is change the query type here from C-sharp expression to C-sharp statements. So I'll delete what we just did, and now I'll turn this into var query equals. And that's rather like we're inside a method. So we need semicolons at the end of each line. And now I can put uh, console.writeline query.distinct. And now that's going to give me a result similar. We need a semicolon here. A result similar to what we had before, except it's going to strip out the duplicates. Now you notice if we have any errors, if we run to er er errors, it puts a little icon there with the, tell us exactly where the error is in a squiggly underline. So that tells us that we need a semicolon there. So here we are, we've got the same result with the duplicate stripped. Now we used console.writeline to feed results into the uh, results window, because this is something we do so much in LinkPad, there's an extension method that does a shortcut for this called dump. So we can just call dump on this instead, and give, we get the same result. We can call dump as many times as we like, so we can call this again. I can put, for instance, uh, count, so we'll just get the count of the total items in there, and now we've got uh, this here, this result 12 and the sequence. Um, and to help uh, present this, you can give each one a heading. So we can put total count of, of elements. And here we can put distinct elements. And that gives you a little heading on each. Now, once you've written a query, you can um, save it to, with, uh, on, on the menu you've got open, close, save, and so on. So we can save this one. By default, it, sends, it saves it to a folder called LinkPad Queries in my documents. So we can call this a demo query. And then it appears down here in under my queries. So next time you go back into LinkPad, you can just click straight on that. With one click, you can get straight back to where you were, which once again, this is consistent with the workflow you get when you're working with code snippets rather than projects and solutions. Organize just brings up Windows Explorer in that folder. So you can then create, if you want, you can create subfolders, and those subfolders then show up as a tree view inside the My Queries area. So that's, that's how we can use LinkPad um, in the simplest uh, mode as a code snippet IDE. And also, uh, we've seen how we can run um, local queries on it, like this one we just did here.